You should fight when someone hugs you, it will make them feel stronger. Welcome to the Academy of Photography, Christian Chudo here. Today I'm gonna answer a very simple question, which one is the best software to edit your photos in post-production after you take them from your raw camera? Now for me the answer is very obvious. I have to remind myself that I'm talking with also people who have never touched a software or a camera. They are looking to buy the first camera or if they bought it, they just want to know what would be the best choice for a software. Today I'm going to answer this question. It's either Photoshop from Adobe or Lightroom. So what is the difference between Photoshop and Lightroom? Well, first of all, let's look at Photoshop. This is a complex tool, a big software with a lot of features and it's been on the market for a while longer than Adobe Lightroom. So with Photoshop, you can actually modify the structure of the picture. What that does mean is I can bring more pictures, parts of the pictures into one and I will combine them as I see fit. It works with layers, filters and all sorts of tools to increase and decrease exposure, levels, colors and contrast and whatnot. So Photoshop will open an individual file, it will create another file and uh, you can bring more photos into the same file and you work them out as you can see fit depending on your level of skills, understanding and experience. Photoshop is a powerful tool for individual results. So if you are into fine art photography, Photoshop is the way to go. If you don't want to go to the distance to modify the pictures that much, I would suggest you consider Adobe Lightroom. Lightroom is a simple software. You will have the ability to actually organize your photos into folders and uh, libraries. It's much easier to work with. Now, Lightroom will be able to modify in the same time more pictures so you can work all the pictures in bulk. You can apply a specific uh, filter or a specific uh, technique to all the photos in the same time. Photoshop does not do that. Photoshop works with individual files. Lightroom can work with also all the files in the same time. That is, this is the biggest difference. On another hand though, with Lightroom you cannot combine two photos into one. With Lightroom you'll only apply visual changes, you'll, you'll play with the settings such as exposure, color levels, contrast and whatnot. You can increase the reds, you can decrease the yellows and, and all sorts of tools. It's far easier to use and it's far easier to actually learn. So with Photoshop, you open one file, you save it as a new file, and it will uh, actually clog your hard drive because it's gonna work with very large files. If you have 200 files, if you have 200 pictures coming from your camera, opening them individually in Photoshop, it will be a very long time. So for those of you who want to process very easy and very fast a lot of images in one go, that's not the right way to go. Lightroom will do that for you and Lightroom will help you to actually decrease the time of editing. Now, it depends what you want. If you wanna go for one single picture and you wanna go the distance and modify into a fine art piece, Photoshop is the way to go. With Lightroom, you can apply filters as well, but it's gonna be very fast. You still can do some uh, minor touch-ups with Lightroom. You can still remove pimples. You can blur out parts of the pictures but Lightroom does not have uh, all the tools that Photoshop has. In terms of pricing, they are both kind of the same today. I remember Photoshop in, back in the day was like six or seven thousand dollars a license. Now you can actually purchase a subscription from Adobe for probably 30 bucks a month and you will have, uh, you will have the entire software to use at your convenience. Now the same thing stands for Lightroom as well. I remember paying for Lightroom about 400 bucks uh, one off payment a while ago, but now it's coming with the same system. You pay 30 bucks a month and you will have Lightroom. The Adobe website will offer you for $50 a month probably to have absolutely all their softwares. So at, at the moment, pricing is not necessarily a topic anymore. It won't make the difference. So if you pay 50 bucks a month, you can actually have both. And I would suggest you purchase both because that's the way to go. Sometimes you wanna modify only one picture. Sometimes you just wanna take all 200 of them, just apply them a, a specific filter like a vignette or like an increase in vibrance and there you go. You'll have all of them done in one go. One of the advantages of Lightroom is actually it does not modify the original pictures. So you save all the pictures into a folder and Lightroom will create only one file which is going to remember all the processes that you apply to every picture. So it's one file, it's going to be 20 megs or 30 megs and this is basically it. It's like an external reference and you just record whatever you do to a picture. 
With Photoshop, on the other hand, you open the file, you open one picture, you have to save it again into a new file and you combine every, all your work into the new file and the new file can be quite large. So imagine if you want to process 1000 pictures, you're going to have 1000 files new files which is going to be probably three or four times bigger than the original pictures and this is your hard drive gone so photoshop individual pictures lightroom pictures in bulk if you work only one picture and you do not want to modify the structure you don't want to remove people or bring some other parts of the picture in it i still recommend lightroom i'm not sure about your experience but in my experience i'm using the mac Somehow, I cannot explain why, because I'm not a computer uh, software specialist, the green is greener in Lightroom and that's my personal observation. I need you to tell me if you believe the same thing. Back in the day when I was learning photography, I was always envious on, on professional photographers at that time. How do they get the actual green to be that green? I had Photoshop and I never achieved uh, anything in order to get the greenest green. When I purchased Lightroom and I played only, only for a few seconds, I, I realized that this is it. Basically, the, the Lightroom will give me a greener green. I don't know why that's the case, but this is my observation. I would be happy to know your opinion as well. So in conclusion, for those of you who are still wondering what software is the best to use, I would suggest think about what you want to achieve. If you want to work and do fine art photography and you want to create one picture at one time, Photoshop is the way to go. If you want to work many photos in bulk, like I do, if I take thousands of photos for a wedding, I need a uh, very fast tool to help me deliver that in, in basically a very short period of time. And that is basically Lightroom. I hope it helps. There are plenty of tutorials for both softwares out there. Just uh, go on the website, you will find plenty of information how to use them, which tools to use. I hope I helped a lot of you to take a decision. Now, because we are moving into a subscription-based purchase system, I would suggest get both of them. You'll have, you'll have all the Adobe tools on your computer. Spend enough time to train yourself and you are good to go. I hope that helps. I thank you for watching. Until I see you next time, I wish you happy shooting. Thank you very much.